Hello, I'm interrupting my work right now to work on this super important public service announcement video that you don't need a boilerplate. I saw this guy shipping a project called zerodoship.com. It's a boilerplate with blah, 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 yada, 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 whatever things in Next.js. And I'm like, it's 2025 and we have LLMs? Why the f Why would someone need a boilerplate? You can just start with an empty Next.js app. You can just go create next app, boom, have an empty project running. What like, And you can just ship your startup with it, right? You Fine, you might need, I don't know, styling, and we can just add Tailwind. You go to a landing page, there's like a couple of scripts there. You install this, that, or like what? It would take you five-ish minutes, and that's it. Then what? You might need some components, let's say, and you, of course, you're going to use ChatGN, right? Go to a landing page, you do install, da 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 da. You ask a couple of questions, but you just press enter through all of them, right? You set up the structure and you're ready to go and you have some components in your app. And if you need more, and you will need more, but fine, like how many more would you need? Like 15, 20 more components that every project needs? ShadCN registry is amazing. You can just go around, shop for component libraries and just find whatever, Origin UI, Kitsi UI, whatever. There's like plenty of libraries out there. You can just get your segmented control tabs, all the variants, all the thingies, and you can just... How long would this take you? Like 30-ish minutes of finding the right components, installing them, customizing them, making them like work within your app and it's like this and that is like whatever. It's gonna, it's, do you really need a boilerplate? That's the question. Like what else might an app need from a US standpoint? Let's just say, I don't know, you need a modal, but ShadCN is a little bit boilerplate fine. You might wanna like an open dialogue function, which instantly opens dialogues here or there. Or you might need like a confirm or a confirm delete programmatic way to do those. And like, how long would it take you to wrap the entire thing in context? Or you can just one shot it with an LLM. Like it would take you uh, 15 -ish minutes of setting up dialogues and alerts. And you're most likely, I would say, done with the UI side of your startup, right? Like, let's just, I just don't get the mentality behind a boilerplate. Like, what else would you... Let's take the landing page, right? Your startup might need, like, the actual app, and then it might need a landing page. You can just one-shot it with Claude, with Gemini, with whatever. You can be like, hey, one-shot me a fucking landing page, and it's gonna... And give you, like, a perfect landing page that works. Well, it with Next.js app router, there might be some things that you might want to do in the middleware when it comes to authentication. And authentication, actually, yeah, well... um. I just chuck off the landing page to like what? Like 30-ish to 40 minutes of work with an LLM should be easy peasy, right? And then you, well, we need the user to press a login button and then to actually log in. So we would need the login forms and the login pages. But like, oh, come on, like those are already in Shadzi and blocks. You can just install them. It would take like five to seven minutes to set up those forms and, and, and those pages. And when the user creates, well, we need an authentication system. So I guess uh, we can we can get, I saw this library called Better Auth. And they've been bragging about how you can add authentication to your app with like two lines of code, three lines of code. And I was like, two of these will probably be 40 to 50 and then it won't be in one file. It'll be many files, but overall, how long does it take to implement an authentication library? I would say with LLMs and cursor and every app to an, uh, that's a maximum hour of a time if you exclude social logins and all the things because you would need to update the database and then you might find some potential bugs and message the author or better on. You might need to patch them and and trial and error and a bunch of middleware like what the middleware in app router like you might want to serve the landing page to a logged in user but the app to a user and it might be tricky which one to serve and go back and forth and all let's just say overall the entire authentication thing with LL, it can take like up to two hours but why a boilerplate for 199 just for this couple of like what else would we need like the user let's let's just let's just walk through mentally through the app what else would we need like the user logs in and they get a welcome email Email, okay, email. Email sending in 2025, that's gonna be, that's what you're gonna pay a boilerplate for. You just go resend, you make an account, you go to Plunk, to whatever, you just make one of these accounts, and then you just need a mechanism to to send emails and you need certain points of time on when do you actually send the email. So you just need an email mechanism, basically, and you can just easily set up, I don't know, a um, node mailer or the resend API or whatever just for sending the email, and then you, okay, how long would that take the entire email thing? Like 30 minutes stops? And then you would need the email templates, like LLM can just one shot to a couple of how many templates you need, like four, forgot password, this and that. And then I guess once you have the mechanisms, you also need the pages for those. So when the user lands on the thing, they overall, I just chuck this into the authentication part with the email because they're kind of combined. We can see four ish five, the good engineer with like a maximum hours of work, okay? And then you have the templates, you have the email system, and I guess when you're in development, the emails won't work because we use recent and we don't know what to waste credit. So 
okay, in development, you would need some branched email logic, like based on the fact whether you're in development or whether you're actually in production, or if you have a staging account, you might want to use different things to trap the email, to capture the email, or on staging to trap it. Like, like you can just tell like llms are pretty updated on the latest libraries and stuff and they can just you can just be like hey make me a fucking bullet with better off and recent and all like, it's just gonna fucking do it it shouldn't like do, do, what what do you do you think that the person who created this boilerplate actually used cursor <laughs> actually used llms he probably manually wrote this thing that's why it took him a month because he probably wrote it like letter by letter on his shitty keyboard that's why it took him a month definitely not because he actually used cursor and and llms but buying a boilerplate is Absolutely insane. What else do we need? Like, I think we we more or less covered uh, everything that we might need here. Um, uh, admin panel. Come on, you like we're better off. You can just throw an admin page together, and then you need the table, and then you need searching logic, and then you need the pagination for when searching the users. And stuff. but the LLMs like they're pretty up to date to stuff. You can be like, make me a fucking paginated admin panel with all the actions, impersonation, make the UI style nice. Blah, blah, blah. And with an LLM, you can easily have this admin functionality in like 30-ish minutes. Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. Lemon squeezy payments. We don't well, whether you use lemon squeezy or use polar, you use paddle or use tripe, like it shouldn't take more than five-ish minutes to implement payments in your app, right? I would say maybe third. Just with the signing up of the account and everything, maybe it should be up for for an hour and a half. How 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 many like how much time are we spending so far? Because there's there's more things that we need to do and but but definitely buying something. That's 199 <laughs> When you can do all of this, it's your piece you'll have a squeeze. Speaking of level squeeze, we need to finish. Pro and we might give them a little badge. And if they're pro, they might have permissions to do certain actions in the app. And if they're not pro, then we need the customer portal. We need to link out to it. And then we need the payment plans, I guess. But you need to display them both on the landing page. You need to display them in the app. And there might be a dialogue where the user can upgrade. But come on, dude, in the age of LLMs, I can easily do that in like, Oh, the hour minutes ish top. Just the payments for uh, you just do the user. The user is pro and whatever the fuck. I don't know what else you might like. Let, let's just think about an app. Let's just think about a startup. Let's uh, blog. You might need a blog. Blog. Who cares? Blog. Like who? Whoever? Who has ever over engineered a blog in their life? Everyone has a blog. Everyone made it in like few minutes, right? No one has an over engineered blog. No one is overthinking which CMS to use and how to do it and how to do a markdown and how to parse the things and how to server render and like all of these things. Like in the age of LLMs, this shouldn't be more than I would say minutes. Minutes. To have a blog is like easy, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Did we finish speaking of lemon squeezy? We finished. The, the payment part should be done within those ish nine seven ish seven minute hours right what else you might need that that's it i mean if you well it's the age of llm so your app might actually need llm integration so you need to store all the providers what are the capabilities to store an api key to store an api key we need no actually where are we storing the auth like we need a database but in, in the age of llm is just setting up prisma with a schema and connecting it to better auth and all those things <laughs> we're like easy peasy right it shouldn't take more than Ish minutes to to set that up and okay let's just assume that we have prisma ready and we have all of the things and it's connected to better what the fuck we're oh yeah then we would need to actually store the service keys for the like if the user wants to connect their cloud account or their open ai and actually to be able to use it so we need some kind of a, like a preferences thing and uh, i oh, but still the, the the idea of actually buying a boilerplate for this more like boils my blood am i right you, you can just make a settings model which has all the things like it would have i don't know switching the theme the, the theme theming um theming in next.js come on dude that's like you can just use next themes and we in the age of llms you can just wrap up the light mode and dark mode and the switch and the conditions and this and that and server side and hydration suppression warnings whatever the fuck you don't be more than seven minutes right and you just, just wrap that part out what the fuck were we talking about oh uh, yeah in the settings model we would have like uh the like the keyboard shortcuts keyboard shortcuts you need a hook for that you can just find a hook just google best keyboard shortcuts hook and you wire it up and then you have global keyboard shortcuts but i guess some of them have to work when the user is logged in some of them have to work when the user is logged out and they have to be documented somewhere but how am i gonna let's just check up one more hour for now keyboard okay good engineer 30 minutes with llms easy peasy global keyboard shortcuts user auth whatever the fuck it should work then we said ai providers should be in the settings and we would need to connect to different AI providers, blah, 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 blah. Maybe throw in a little AI chat because every app has that. 
we can use AI SDK for that, right? How hard would that be to set up with streaming and everything, right? We would want the chat to like brrr, stream instead of like a loading spinner and then to use one of the users AI provide. I mean, this is, um, these are not needed, right? The chat things, we can just erase them. If, if we were ke keeping track of a number here, if you're having a little notepad and you're like, this will take that many minutes and blah, 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 you just erase the, because nobody cares about that, right? That's not, you wouldn't put that in requirements of what an app needs in 2025. So just delete the entire AI integration in the chat and whatever, we don't need that. We can go with the requirements of what an app actually needs in 2025. And that would be like image uploads, maybe. That shouldn't be hard to do. We can use Theo's upload thing. We can drop them in an S3 bucket, digital ocean, whatever the fuck. We can just drop them there. And like, how long would the dropping image integration take? We would need to, let's just say the user has like an edit, pro the user needs to edit their profile and they need a profile. But okay, we can just add the profile and the editing profile function. Sure you in the age of LLM, should it be two hours? I don't know, like it, the user profile. And then we have form for edit, form, form. We forgot forms, but by, Everything, buying a boilerplate for forms, or you can, you can just install React hook form and make a couple of abstractions on top for different fields so you don't have a lot of boilerplate and they're nicely typed and wired together and blah, blah, blah. And then we make the form pages and we wire them to the actual muta mutation. Here, we, we need queries and mutations and server components are finicky and not everyone is a fan of them. So we might want to throw in TRPC in our next year's setup and I'm like, come on, dude, you're a senior engineer. How fucking long would it take you to wire TRPC? Like, come on, you, have, you get mutations, you get queries, you get the client, you get the thing in the age of LLMs, you can be like, throw TRPC in my app and LLMs perfectly understand how to throw the latest version of TRPC in the latest version of Next.js app router and it should work immediately out of the box and you shouldn't even fuck with TRPC. What are we talking about? Forms. Yeah, you just wire the form with the mutation and you wire it with the query from the database and you populate all the fields and then, as I said, we might need some abstractions for the field so they don't take 30,000 lines for writing one form. And then we finally get to the image uploading part and we can, well, Upload thing doesn't exactly give you like a field to upload images within the forms, but we can make our own and then make sure, make sure to authenticate it back end. But just telling the LLM wire upload thing to the latest version of App Router in XGS should like the LLM should be like understood, wire it up. It's right there in the form, right? You do boom, you upload an image and you drop somewhere and upload thing. We don't, why are we even discussing uploading images? Like so fucking stupid. What? Like, like, this video is getting kind of long. It's tw 12 minutes so far, but I still think you shouldn't waste any amount of money on a boilerplate where you can just easily, peasily, lemon squeezily just go through all of this and just do it on your own. Like, optimistic UI might take, like, oh, come on, optimistic UI and TRPC is like super easy, peasy, lemon squeezy. You guys are catching errors. We might have some payment errors or sign up errors with this errors. You know, we, we can when we take them on the client side and we translate all those scary stupid backend strings into some nicely readable client side errors so they you know the user gets nice toast 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 reminds me of that i'm hungry and also of a library okay we can just throw in any library for managing toast like that shouldn't be like every you can just throw in everything together like i don't know why this other person bothered to do, to throw in everything together for you like how long it took them like overall how, how much are we talking here in the age of llm shouldn't be more than a couple of minutes hours months like that Maybe a command K, command bar, a lot of apps like that. And then how do we, we with chat CN and boilerplate in the age of LLMs, you can easily throw in a command bar. And uh, then on onboarding, I guess when the user like logs in for the app, in the app for the first time, we might need a cool onboarding dialogue, but we can just, in the age of LLMs, we can just, just throw one together. But, but I guess, you know, there's like, um, just going through this landing page of this boilerplate here and I can help it. Four things that an app and a boilerplate might need, but paying for it is absolutely insane and i'll never understand the person who made zero to ship.com and i should also advise you to always roll everything from scratch write everything from scratch and never fall for the scam that is a boilerplate that might save you some time see you in the next video